welcome to Max is Easy tutorial with Mr. Ko and Mr. Ko welcome and uh, today we are going to talk about the remainder concept in particular I'm going to talk about the branch method I'm going to solve this problem using the branch method now of course again first of all we have to identify that this question is actually involving the remainder concept how do we know that this question is re involving the remainder concept very easy in this question it says that Ben spent two ninth of his money on magazines two fifth of the remainder on books and save the rest now the word remainder give us gives us a, a clue that this is a remainder concept alright so this word remainder of the remainder tells us that these are using a remainder concept so as with all branch method and we're going to begin with the total now total doesn't matter whether is it about money or children number of people or whatever I'll let us begin with the total we just use a common word total all right and from total I'm going to branch off in this case this is total money I'm going to branch off into two all right to two how am I going to branch them off? Now, I'm going to branch them off into the total. Right. For the total, I know that two ninth of his money is spent on magazines. Alright. And, which means that what is the remainder? What is the remainder? The remainder Alright The remainder must be 7 over 9 Alright Because They must give me Add up together to give me one whole So if the magazine is 2 out of 9 Remainder must be 7 out of 9 Alright okay, So we have gone to this 2 9 of his money on magazines the next one will be two fifth of the remainder on books. Now notice this is of the remainder. So two fifth of the remainder. I'm gonna branch off from the remainder. Okay. I'm gonna branch off from the remainder. Of the remainder, two fifth depends on books and the remaining amount of money is what he saved. Now, if he spent two fifth on books, how much would he have saved? He would have saved three fifth. All right, it must be three fifth because two fifth plus three fifth again must give you one whole and let's have a final fraction now I'm going to identify write down the final fraction final fraction now let me edit this Let's now what is the final fraction for magazines is clearly yes the it's just um, 2 out of 9 and but for this is a little bit different for final fraction how do we know how much the final fraction of his money that spends on books simply what you have to do is to multiply 7 out of 9 alright this fraction multiply with Okay, seven out of nine multiply with two fifth, multiply two fifth. And I get it to be fourteen out of forty five. Alright, this is the amount that I spent on books. Okay, and how much is being saved now? 
it the fraction final fraction that is being saved is seven out of nine multiplied by three fifth sorry three fifth and that will give me twenty one out of forty five and this is the amount that's being saved okay and by now you should you can see that the denominator here is forty five the denominator here is also 45 but this fraction the denominator is not 45 so I want to change it all to the same denominator and this is the same as 10 out of 45 and this amount is spent on magazines okay and but you can see that this is now denominator 45 45 45 and you add up 10 plus 14 plus 21 you should get 45 out of 45 one whole alright so now let's continue we spent 32 dollars more on books than magazines now how many units does he spend on books books he spent 14 units alright I hope you can see that His books actually is 14 units how do i know 14 units for the numerator here okay i know that it's 14 units and how much do you spend on magazines you spend on magazines clearly will be 10 units all right spend on 10 units so how much more do you spend on books than magazines? Mag books 14 units, magazines 10 units. Clearly, there is a difference of 4 units. You spend 4 units more on books than magazines. So, which means that 4 units must be equal to $32. Right? And that gives us 1 unit as. 32 divided by 4 equals to $8. Now that I've got $8, I want to know how much he has. The question is how much did he save? Alright, to know how much he saved, we have to look at the units again. He saved 21 units. How do I know 21 units? By looking at the numerator here. Okay. The monitor here is 21, so he saved 21 units. So once I know what is 1 unit is $8, I find what is 21 units to be simply $8 multiplied by 21 units. And that will give me 168. Uh, that will give me $168. Okay, so that's it. So he saved one hundred and sixty-eight dollars. Okay, so here you go. This is the branch method. This branch method is, in my opinion, is easier than the motor method. If you don't understand, please go through again. It's important for you to practice on your own. Practice as many times as you need to get this really, really. Uh, into uh, into a habit. Alright, that's all. I hope you enjoy. Goodbye.